Hi, I'm Aileen Rohr and I'm the supervisor of the Town of Hyde Park. I'm here to tell you a little bit about our Hyde Park Downtown Initiative. It's a program to address the lack of infrastructure along Route 9. Our goal is to create a vibrant town center that will include restaurants, lots of shopping, and community gathering places. The Hyde Park Downtown Initiative will be an economic engine that creates jobs, it builds our tax base, and benefits the entire town through these improvements. We have all these wonderful assets. We have amazing trails. We're right in the heart of the Hudson Valley. We're on the river. There's so many great things about Hyde Park, but Hyde Park, having developed during the post-World War II era, didn't really have a typical village center or a typical Main Street feel. The town board, under Supervisor Rohr's uh, direction, said, you know, what can we do? What can the town do? Uh, we don't own the property, they're all individually owned, and uh, we can't go in and dictate what they do with them. So we have implemented the downtown initiative where we've established priorities of uh, creating pedestrian infrastructure as well as addressing the lack of a commercial sewer district. We applied for monies through the State of New York Transportation Assistance Program and we received a hefty award of $679,000 to begin this process. If we did not go for these grants, this money would have went to other communities. So our taxes would be building other communities. So it's nice that we're taking money and bringing it back home and building our future. It's also to encourage businesses to come in because um, the look of Hyde Park will be tremendously improved. The best way to sell your property is to have curb appeal, and that's really what we're doing here in Hyde Park. So the one component is the pedestrian component, we've got that covered, uh, but the second is creating a commercial sewer district to service that area, because without that you can't have the intensity and density that people expect in a town center. I actually have a plan from the 1960s, a uh, sewer plan for Hyde Park. They've been working on it since then, and it's just never come together. And the reason is that it's, it's expensive to put in a sewer. So what we're doing is we're creating a plan for a sewer district just for the area that needs it, the commercial area along the Route 9 corridor. There's a lot of Route 9 that is not commercial, so therefore let's look at the pockets which is less expensive, more doable. We do have a proposed development uh, across from the Culinary Institute of America, and the developers have agreed to provide a, a donation of $1.25 million to the town of Hyde Park to create a commercial sewer district. By having the sewer district in that business area is going to enable many restaurants to open that we can't do right now. The septic just won't hold it. The planning work that we're doing right now is through a NYSERDA Cleaner Greener Communities grant. We realized that the center of town had the potential to become a walkable, bikeable area that would reduce greenhouse gases and that would have an effect on reducing car dependence. The funding through the NYSERDA program is allowing us to develop the sewer plan, but it's not just doing the sewer plan in isolation. We're doing a whole comprehensive plan for the town center where we started out with a market analysis where we had an economic development person go and meet with all the property owners, the business owners, the stakeholders, the fire departments, everyone in the area, and really find out what their views are for the future of the town center. We also had an open house where we had the public come in and kind of register all the public's ideas. The interesting thing was they all kind of pointed in the same direction, which is that people want restaurants, they want shopping, and they want a place that's really a town center where they can walk around. And there's also a high demand for more rental housing. I'm particularly happy uh, with the work in the town of Hyde Park, uh, in, in part because it's always struggled to define its core center, its commercial center. New businesses, when they come into a community, uh, if, if they're the ones that have to build the sidewalks, if they're the ones that have to put in the sewer line, if they're the ones that have to move the electrical utilities, if they're the ones who have to be worried only about landscaping, if they're the ones who have to meet all of those great expectations we have when we want to create you know, downtowns and centers, they're likely to say no because the cost is so much. So if we can pool resources, share resources, and work together to, to drive down that cost, you welcome new businesses, you incentivize new growth, and with that comes greater assessed valuation, and most importantly, creates a sense of place. I reflect on how our parades are in High Park with the Memorial Day and the Fourth of July 
that the community just rallies together. There's a sense of a downtown when it comes to the parades. And really, that's what I want to bring for 12 months out of the year, really having a sense of community downtown. People see Hyde Park in the news, um, building sidewalks, making plans for the future. And I think it, it gives Hyde Park a positive energy, and that's what I'm really proud of. It's going to be super. You know, that pride is going to come back, and that people are going to say, wow. We're doing what's, what needs to be done and what should have been done 50 years ago to create this downtown in Hyde Park.